This presentation is going to talk about the emerging new field of plasma energy medicine. It includes uh, plasma medicine research being done all around the world, as well as uh, plasma energy, biofield healing, um, and as well as some plasma physics. This is a picture of Cliff Stumbaugh. He is the inventor of Zeb's biofield devices. These are plasma devices that emit various scalar waves that simulate the uh, hands-on healing work of a hands-on healing practitioner. And he developed these uh, through intuitive knowledge as well as practical knowledge using um, divining rods and um, a lot of other knowledge that he's collected over a 30-year period. This is Cliff's top-of-the-line um, Zeb Biofield Energy Healing Device, and it emits um, right-handed spiraling plasma energy and left-handed left -handed plasma spiraling energy, also called scalar waves. Scalar waves are the individual frequencies of the plasma energies. And uh, while working with Cliff, I researched a lot of his uh, knowledge and tried to validate it scientifically. And what I found is that in universities throughout the world, they're, they're developing plasma medicine devices, which are a little different than this one. The uh, plasma medicine devices are spark app based devices that um, use electronics to generate the plasma plumes and you can actually see the plasma plumes. The uh, devices that Cliff builds are devices that focus the plasma energy and don't use electronics per se. And the um, plasma energy is, can be seen at night in the right conditions or by clairvoyance, but it is low intensity plasma, just like the uh, biofield of the human body is low intensity and the only people that generally see the human aura or the human biofield are clairvoyance. In this presentation, we'll talk about what plasma energy is and what it is not. Um, we'll talk about two different types of healing. We'll talk about plasma medicine healing, which is the healing, uh, the therapy that the plasma medicine researchers at universities and research centers around the world are using the electronic-based spark app plasma medicine devices to do their research. And the other healing we'll talk about is the plasma healing of the biofield, which is the um, healing techniques developed by Cliff and energy healing healers in general uh, to heal the bio, human bioplasma field. Then we'll talk about um, how plasma medicine can is being studied to um, create faster immune response of the human physiology, how it's um, also being used and studied to regulate the cellular metabolism. And then we'll um, talk about the plasma biofields that are part of the creation of all matter from huge galaxies in the astrophysics world to electrons in the atomic physics world. And the next section will be reviewing the structure of the um, human plasma biofield, which includes the chakras, the acupuncture meridians. And then last, we'll, we'll tell you how you can um, heal the human plasma bio biofield, either with sub devices or hands-on healers or acupuncture and such. And then we'll review. This slide shows a plasma medicine device being developed at Drexel University through the uh, electrical engineering, biomedical engineering, mechanical engineering schools. And um, it shows the non-thermal plasma, and non-thermal being it's non-heat producing. So it has no uh, negative um, cellular effects or thermal cellular effects. And the activating factors in the plasma plume that create the biological response are believed to be the, um, the uncharged ion species and then the UV light. So the way these plasma plumes are created is through electrical energy 
that's pulsed through two electrodes, which then ionizes the air particles. Most of air is nitrogen, so nitrogen is a large part of it. Uh, nitrogen ions, oxygen ions, and some other ions. And then there's UV light as well. Plasma is the fourth state of matter. It exists in 96, 97% of the universe. The other three or four percent is matter. So the fourth state of matter being plasma is the primordial substance that creates all matter. It existed when there was no light in the universe at the beginning of the universe. And slowly as the plasma was condensed, it created matter. A lot of people will tell you that plasma is ionized gas. Um, plasma existed before gas ever existed, so actually it's not a gas. Um, it can be created by electrically ionizing gases, though. And a big difference between plasma and a gas is that the plasma is electrically conductive and it acts much like a fluid. This slide shows the ion species created by a plasma made of um, spark gapping through air and helium. And a lot of the plasma medicine devices are just air. So in this slide, it shows helium ion species in addition to the hydroxide ion species, nitrogen ion species, and oxygen ion species. And from a biological standpoint, the um, Free radicals, the singlet oxygen, the hydroxide, the um, hydrogen peroxide, all of those species are really good at cell signaling and um, killing antibacterial and antiviral. So that's where a lot of the um, medical um, benefits are thought to come from, in addition to UV light. The plasma medicine devices being developed um, have very low wattage. In fact, over a period of uh, 30 seconds to maybe at the longest period of treatment, 10 minutes, um, it might raise the surface temperature of the body by, by a one degree at the most. Um, the average power is usually less than two joules per second, and a long maximum treatment would be about 10 minutes at 0.6 watts per centimeter squared, and a shorter treatment might be just 40 seconds at 2.3 watts per centimeter squared. That's with current medical research. There are several physiological effects that have been described in the literature. These include um, the dipole alignment of the microtubules, which are responsible for the um, division of cells, especially during um, cancer cell proliferation. Um, it also can affect the, uh, the alignment of the nucleus and the cells is the, and where they're oriented towards it with respect to the cells around them. It can change the uh, biochemical um, shapes, and which are called conformational changes. It can change whether or not a gate in, uh, of a cell membrane opens or closes unless different chemical changes inside and outside the cell occur. Um, it can polarize the ion fluid. And then last and very important, it can um, enhance the transmembrane potential so that the cell is able to operate the way it should. In this next section, we'll talk about how plasma enhances the immune response of um, wounds and different um, disease factors. This slide shows a plasma device being developed by the um, U.S. Department of Agriculture to um, inactivate bacteria and viral um, effects from produce. And here it's um, affecting the... Uh, some almonds. This slide shows a picture of a plasma medicine device being developed at Old Dominican University in Virginia 
and it's being um, used in research to kill bacteria, heal wounds, and treat plaque. Here we have a plasma device that is called the plasma pencil and it's being developed um, by the USC School of Dentistry, Electrical Engineering, and Mechanical Engineering. And it's, being, it's found that it can actually fight off um, and inactivate um, biofilm infections in, in the mouth. And here it's simulating um, a plume that's hitting a tooth. Currently, there seems to be debate as to uh, the actual source of the bacterial and viral disinfection. Um, some researchers believe it's due to the um, singlet oxygen molecule free radical. Um, others believe it's other free radicals that are produced, like hydrogen peroxide. Um, and still others think it's related to the UV light. At Scripps Research Institute, uh, Richard Lerner and his co-workers have found that antibodies in the body actually produce free radicals to attack the um, bacterial infections. And these include um, singlet oxygen, hydroxide, and other free radicals. And they can easily produ be produced um, with light as well. These graphs are taken from um, Drexel University researchers and they were showing how um, plasma facilitates flash, faster blood clotting. And the way it does it is um, related to facilitating the natural coagulation blood proteins, um, increasing those. And they found that there was a two-fold in, increase with the blood clotting using, using, using plasma. Here, Russian researchers are um, researching the effects of the plazon device um, with ulcer healing and uh, from diabetic foot ulcers. And with um, the device, they were able to show that the healing was much faster with um, the plazon device than with the um, control group. This slide shows the results of some wound healing done by a plasma biofield device, but it's also shown in plasma medical research that um, plasma medical devices have the ability to facilitate wound re and recovery times. So here, um, a horse was um, had an injury by running through the fence on the chest of the horse. And uh, the vet said the, re the healing should take about six months. And with the um, biofield, plasma healing, it actually was reduced by up to about a third of that time. In 1998, a uh, Nobel Prize was awarded to a group of researchers for finding out the, all the signaling molecule properties of nitric oxide. And plasma medicine researchers believe this is one of the major ions that contributes to the healing abilities of the plasma medicine devices. And uh, since nitrogen's over 70% of the air, all the plasma medicine devices that use air as the main gas um, have a lot of nitric oxide that is, is used to heal the wounds and reduce healing time and reduce inflammation. So far, we've talked about how plasma medicine devices have been shown by medical researchers to affect the biochemistry of the human body. Well, in addition to that, we can show how it affects um, the energy control, the cellular metabolism of um, the human body. Plasma medical devices have been shown to affect the transmembrane membrane potential. And this is really important in cancer cell proliferation and in the inflammation uh, of injured tissues.